do you like it? Are you gonna be able to get used to it or are you gonna be stuck in your ways and say brachypilma forever? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to have a quick chat with you guys about the revision from Brachypilma to Tilocatl. So before we get into this, I just want to say that I am probably going to say words wrong. Unfortunately, English is the only language that I speak, so it's really hard for me to pronounce a lot of this. If you haven't heard yet, we have to talk about something. We are learning more about the Brachypilma genus and that actually a lot of Brachypilmas are now being reclassified into a new genus called Tilocatl. Tilocatl. I do not speak Nahuatl. A couple of you have come forward and given me some recordings of natives saying Tilocatl, so I'm going to insert those. This language was spoken, I think, primarily before Spanish. From my understanding, this language was more widely spoken, and then Spanish kind of took over as the primary language, but Nahuatl was spoken by, like, the Aztecs. So this language is not really used as much anymore. In fact, I think some people weren't even aware that it's still in use, but it is still in use. So I do want to remind you guys that since it is still in use, I have spoken with a few natives. For the most part, a lot of natives have been really helpful in learning the proper pronunciation of these words. But I will say that I have spoken to a couple that have felt a little mocked. Now, trust me, I get that it's a really difficult word for especially primarily English speakers to say. There's not really any sound in the English alphabet that makes the TL sound. So we're gonna say tilatl. We're gonna say a bunch of like things with a very thick accent. Just try to be cautious and aware that this is still a language and a heritage that is very sacred to a lot of people, so you don't wanna come off in a mocking way. That said, it's totally fine to have fun with it, and I expect everyone to be practicing this because this is a very big revision. Now, let's get back into what species are being revised. So they're being moved from the Brachypilma genus to the new genus, which is Tilocatl. The word itself actually means black spider. So there's a lot of black spiders in this, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you the exact species that have been revised. Brachypilma vegans is now Tilocatl vegans. Brachypilma abopilosum is now Tilocatl abopilosum. Brachypilma sabulosum is now Tilocatl sabulosum. Brachypilma kallenbergi is now Tilocatl Kallenbergi, Brachypilma epic, see I can't even say this one, it's now uh, Tilocato epicranium, Brachypilma verdesi is now Tilocato verdesi, and the last one is Brachypilma shidori, which is now Tilocato shidori. So that is a lot of Brachypilma, a lot of very known Brachypilma, and it's going to be really difficult to make this transition. But I want to remind people that as advances are made in science and we learn new things, sometimes change has to happen. I totally understand those that are resistant to the change because they're used to one way, but I mean, that's part of the hobby. We, we have revisions all the time. This just happens to be a really big one. So although Latin is usually used for the scientific or binomial names, we've introduced Nahuatl, which is a completely different language. So it's actually really cool that they kind of gave them that homage and said, hey, these spiders are from this land in Southern Mexico. This is the language that the natives speak. This translates to black spider, which makes sense. So there is actually a entire like research paper and a couple different resources that I'm going to link down below in the description. And of course I wanted to just kind of like mention the change just in case. I do think it's important to know the changes and names. So I just just wanted to make this video. Personally, I think that learning about tarantulas makes you learn about the world and the different habitats, the different people, the different cultures. And that's something that I think is really cool about this hobby. It's like a really small community considering it's worldwide, but we're all connected over this love of tarantulas. You know, before I was ever into tarantulas, I had, you know, a couple friends that were from other countries, but now today, every day, I speak to some of my very best friends, a few that I've never even met in person, 
that live literally all around the world, Asia, Africa, Europe, and it's really cool. So I really do think it would be good if we all try to learn the new genus and the way to pronounce it and what's reclassified into it so we can move forward in this hobby and keep learning. So yeah, what do you think? Do you like it? Are you going to be able to get used to it or are you going to be stuck in your ways and say brachypilma forever? Tilikato. Tilikato. Itoka. Klitoka. I heard that too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not. And you want to be. Don't forget that I'm an Instagram that I use probably way too much as at tarantula.cat you can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon linked below and the, the documents, papers, the stuff, the stuff about this uh, genus change. It's all below. So go check that out. I will see you guys soon. Thanks for listening.